In this video I'm going to show you how to copy files from and to the Remarkable using Windows. Disclaimer, by copying files I don't mean PDFs, I mean files from the Remarkable's file system, for example a splash screen file, which is what I'm going to use as an example in this video. In order to copy files from and to the Remarkable you need a program called WinSCP. You can get this by just googling WinSCP, then clicking on their official site, which is winscp.net and then clicking download now. I already downloaded that so I'm just going to use my local copy. So after starting WinSCP you greet it with this window, click on new site, make sure that SFTP is selected as your file protocol, SFTP stands for secure FTP so it's basically FTP over SSH. Under host name type in your remarkable IP address Under username, type in root. Now for the password you can input your password here or if you have created an SSH key you can use that one so click on advanced. Then under SSH click on authentication and under private key file click on those three dots to select the file you generated. Click on open, click on ok and now you're set. Now. You want to save this session because, well, if not, you would have to input all this information again every time you want to connect. So just hit save here, give it a name. I'm going to call it Remarkable Wi Fi. And now you can just hit log in, and you're being logged in into Remarkable. Now, if you have this set up, you see your local directory on the left side and your Remarkable on the right side. If you'd rather like a setting like a an Explorer window, just go to Settings, go to Interface and choose the Explorer interface. Now if you restart WinSCP, select that connection again, it will look like a normal Explorer window. If that's the first time you started WinSCP, you might not be able to see those hidden files like .local.config. If that's the case, go to Settings again, go to Panels and click Show Hidden Files. Or just use the combination control alt h like so, to toggle hidden files on and off. Now you can see you're in the root folder of the Remarkable by default well in home root, but you can also click on the root folder and now you can see all the other folders in here. So we want to change a template, so in order to do that we need to go to use our shared remarkable, so let's first of all go to the folder usr which is here. Then we go to share and in order to find that remarkable folder just hit r, we will jump to the first one with an r, open that and there you can see your splash screens. Let's say we want to modify starting.png, so we just take that over to the desktop, drag and drop and there it is. Now let's say we made some changes and want to upload that back to Remarkable. We can just take that, drag and drop that onto WinSCP and now it's asking for confirmation because we're overwriting a file with the same name. Just hit yes and it's copied over to the Markable. 